Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So here today, this is part one of a little two-part mini series covering Artemis, the cheat tool homebrew for your modded PS3 systems. This works for hen or custom firmware. And while on the surface, Artemis seems fairly simple to use, anyone who has used it for any period of time in the past has probably experienced issues because you can run into quite a lot of issues using this homebrew. Games freezing, games not loading, your whole entire system locking up, or just your PS3 crashing to the point where it takes you to the recovery screen where it tells you to install your firmware again. And while we will be talking about how to use Artemis along the way, the main focus here is going to be how to try to avoid these issues and these problems, what to do when they happen. We're going to talk about online cheating. We'll talk a little bit about the writing cheats once as opposed to writing cheats constantly option that you have and which one you should use when and how to identify when you need to use a cheat constantly, how to identify bad cheats because boy, do they exist in this homebrew, cheating online and just a whole host of of other stuff. Don't forget to like the video guys because it goes a long way and it keeps me motivated to keep bringing you content. So without further ado, sit back, relax, grab some snacks and let's talk Artemis for PS3 part one. And before we even get too far into things, let's address an issue that tends to happen often with people and that is that your PS3 crashes to the point where you get a recovery screen like this popping up. This normally happens when you either attach Artemis or when you're actually using Artemis in the game, you may get a crash and this screen pops up. Don't panic, just tap the PS button on your controller, wait a few seconds, and then you should see a screen popping up, I believe telling you that it's checking for errors on your hard drive or whatever, and then you'll be taken back to the XMB. Now let's talk about one of the reasons why Artemis experiences issues on the PS3. Okay, so here we are at the XMB of my PS3. And by the way, in case I didn't mention it before, you do need to have a modded system to use Artemis, whether it's on custom firmware or HEN, it doesn't matter. One of the issues, actually the probably the main issue with Artemis and why it runs into problems is because of the PS3's memory, I should say lack thereof. So if you have any homebrews that auto load in the background when your system starts, you may want to disable them or just stop them from loading when you turn on your PS3. One of these is Webman. Now Webman, you can actually unload right here from the XMB. There's a shortcut to do that. You can do it right on your controller. Just press L3, R3 and R2 all at the same time. And when you do that, you can see you'll get a notification in the upper right hand corner saying Webman has been unloaded and it is no longer running in the background. Now, personally, I just like to turn off Webman. If you reboot your system, it will load back up. But I did a tutorial that shows you how you can turn Webman on and off. I'll put a link down in the description. And then whenever you reboot your system, it will stay off until you turn it back on. If you use CCAPI, I haven't used it in years, but I think some of the later versions, they have it where you can uh, have a menu pop up on the middle of your screen that has a bunch of information and things that you can do in order for that to happen. I believe an SPRX file gets loaded in the background, so you may want to rename that file so it gets skipped and so that it doesn't load. VSH menu is also something that's similar. This is kind of older and I don't think that many people use that anymore. But anyway, uh, homebrews like that, you want to stop them from running in the background so you have a better chance of running into less issues with Artemis. Now, homebrews like this, like Multiman, Mana Guns, Rebug Toolbox, those you really don't have to worry about because those don't launch until you launch them. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so at this time, you can go ahead and load up your game using any game manager you want, whether it's Multiman, Irisman, Mana Guns. I used Mana Guns to load up Binary Domain, and this is the game we're going to be using as an example today. Before we even continue, let's address online cheating. Can you cheat online with Artemis? 
Yes, you can. Should you? No, of course not. But if you're going to, then there's a couple of things that you need to know. In order for Artemis to work, you need to have Cobra active. When you activate Hen, if you're using Hen, Cobra activates automatically. Most people who have CFW have Cobra activated. In order for Cobra to work, you need to have your CFW Siskel's files enabled. But anybody who knows anything, and I've mentioned it before here in my channel with tutorials, will tell you that before you sign into PSN, you need to wipe your history and disable your CFW Siskel's files. That way you run a little bit less chance of, of course, getting banned. But if you disable your CFW Siskel's files, then Cobra won't run and then Artemis won't work. But if you don't disable them and you use Artemis to go online to cheat, then you're running those CFW Siskel's files. You run a much greater chance of getting banned from Sony. The other thing is that there are some games out there that have modded eBoots where you can use like mod menus and stuff like Black Ops 2, GTA 5. Those modded eBoots help with you not getting banned. But here you don't have that. So when you go online with these games they have a lot of times their servers have cheat sniffers and they can easily detect that you're cheating and then you will get banned so my recommendation is don't use this online make sure cobra is enabled keep your cfw syscalls enabled and then you don't have to worry about anything and you can use artemis locally but you've already been warned what you do is completely up to you so let's go ahead and let's launch artemis and let's continue from there. All right, guys, so when you use Artemis for the first time, make sure your PS3 is connected to the internet. It will connect automatically to the online database that has the cheats and it will download them. As of right now, there's like 2000 games or so that have cheats. It'll download all of those. You'll see it on the screen. You'll see the progress bar. It takes around two to four minutes, and then when it's done, you'll be brought here. Head on over to the options. The options are pretty self-explanatory. I usually tell people to leave them as is, especially the sort cheats option because it leaves everything in alphabetical order. Update local cheats means if you manually add a cheat yourself to the cheat list and you want it to appear on the cheat screen here in Artemis, as long as you did everything correct, once you put it in manually, you can hit update local cheats and then it should show up over on the cheat screen, which we're going to head on to here in a minute. That's a whole nother tutorial on how to do the cheats manually. And then you have clear local cache. This just clears the cache of Artemis. When you clear it, it'll just read all the cheats again and then it just makes it quicker once you have the cache for it to load all the games and then you have plugin version. If you're on custom firmware, use the R6. If you're on Hen, try using this R5 plugin and you may have better success. Once you're done here, let's head on over to the cheats. And this is where all the magic happens. And you can see the games load very quickly because they've been cached. And that's what that cache deal means. There's a lot we have to cover here. So let me take a deep breath and let's begin. Okay, and let's start here with another problem that Artemis has. Just because you see the games listed on here and there's cheats for them, it doesn't mean that those cheats will work. Maybe some will, some won't, maybe all of them will except one, maybe they all work, who knows. But the developer of this, he did not create these cheats. He only has a connect to an online database. I don't know who maintains that online database and the people who have these cheats, maybe they use them in a different way. I suspect they use like an RTM tool on a PC to then inject them into the PS3, which ultimately is better because that would be less taxing onto the PS3. But because Artemis does everything itself, and we already talked about the lack of PS3's memory, sometimes when it writes some of these cheats, it will cause adverse effects like the game freezing, your system crashing, and things like that. There's no way this developer can test everything. There's almost 2,000 games here. Many of these games have 5, 10, 15, 20, or way more than that in 
um, you know, the sheer amount of cheats. So there's tens of thousands of cheats here. There's no way he can test all of those. He's probably tested a fraction of the games that are here. So you need to get out of the mindset that just because you see a game here and you see cheats for it, that doesn't mean that those cheats will automatically work. There's a good chance that some will, maybe most of them will, but there's also a really high probability that at least some along the way will not. All right, so moving on, it's assumed that because you have a modded PS3 that you know about title IDs and regions and things like that. So you know what that second column is all about. For example, here, 007 Legends, Blues 30983, that is the US version of the game. You need to have that version. To the right, it's telling you, you also need to have update 1.01 installed for that game in order for these cheats to work. Now it is possible whenever you have a game, if it's on higher uh, update, maybe 1.03 or 1.05 in this case, maybe the cheats may work. Just try it out and see what happens. Maybe some of the cheats will work, maybe all of them will work, or none of them will work. Who knows? But you won't know unless you try. And with Artemis, a lot is through trial and error in order for you, you know, to sort things out and get things to work. So they haven't tested everything. They maybe didn't test every update. So just try it and see if it works. So here you can see that these are the cheats for the European version of the game and they work for the base version 1.00, but they also work for update 1.01. That's what that AV101 is for after the title. And here is the US version again. Now, if you have a different version of the game, you can also try the cheats. Here, for example, this FIFA World Cup Brazil game is for the US version that has the 1.01 .01 update, but maybe you have the European version that has the 1.01 .01 update or maybe a 1.02 update. Well, just try it and see if the cheats work. Worst case scenario is that none of the cheats will work. Maybe some of them will, maybe all of them will again, who knows, but just try it and see what happens. Okay, now let's navigate down to binary domain since that's the game we are using as an example. All right, so here we are at binary domain and this is the version that's installed in my system, Blues 30729. But it just so happens that for my game, if we scroll down a couple more times, here's this version. Now this is telling me that I can use these cheats on the base version of the game from 1.00 all the way up to update 1.02. When I installed my game here in the US, this US version automatically downloaded and updated 1.01 .01 update. So I use this one since it's good up to 1.02 and the cheats did work. By the way, before we continue, take a look at this. There's a ton of information here. So just in case you guys run into something like this, let me just tell you what this means. This is telling me that these cheats work for two versions of the game, the blessed version, which is the European, uh, European version, as well as the Japan version. That's what that BLJM is. It's also telling me that for either one of those two versions of the game, you can use these cheats on either the base version 1.00 all the way up to 1.02. Okay, so let's go to this one. When you pick your game, you will come across something like this. Let me tell you just right now, I've been using Artemis for years. I always use the cheats that have the AOB in front of them. I have no idea what AOB is. Maybe one of you knows and you can tell me. But the cheats that don't have AOB in front of them, they have never ever worked. And in every scenario, it's been the same. The game works fine, but it seems like the cheats never get written or they don't even attempt to be written. So don't use those. For PS3, we are going to use the AOB ones because at least those attempt to get written. Some of them may not work, but at least Artemis writes them and you have a chance of getting them to work. So always pick AOB. When you come across cheats, if you see a bunch of them, 15, 20 or more, don't go crazy. Don't pick a bunch of them. 
I strongly recommend that you only do maybe three, four, or five at a time. And that is because some of these cheats will cause your game to freeze. Maybe they'll cause your PS3 to crash. You need to identify them so you don't choose them again. And it's easier to do the process of elimination when you only have three or four or five cheats active than it is if you have 15, 20 or more active. And in part two, I'm going to show you that process of elimination. We're also going to show you the cheats being written once or constant option, what each one means and in what situation would you choose one over the other. And then we're going to call, we're going to go over other things that can cause problems when using Artemis once you've launched the game. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry this has stretched so long, but I really did want it to be thorough. If you guys found anything here useful, informative, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Much love going out to everyone out there. Please be careful, guys. Be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one, part two, tomorrow.